Hello friends and welcome to YouTube channel Freedom Tech and in this session what we are going to learn. In this session we are going to measure the distance between our object and our USB web camera with the help of OpenCV on Raspbian OS Bullseye or on Raspbian OS Buster legacy version. You can use any version. Okay. So before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel. Okay friends thank you so much and let's get started. So friends first what we want to do we want to install the OpenCV and the TensorFlow Lite on Raspbian Buster or maybe Raspbian Bullseye. Okay. I have test the script on both version it works perfectly you can use any version as per your choice okay so i have already installed the opencv and the tensorflow lite on raspbian os bullseye okay then we need here the repository so the repository name is opencv distance okay i will mention the link you need to simply open the link then copy the link minimize the browser and we are going to open terminal and sudo git clone just paste link and hit enter it will clone the repository now we need to change the owner so sudo ch own space hyphen capital r pi is the user pi is the group and our repository name which is opencv distance that's it we have done with the downloading part now simply we need to open our script so programming sony python id file open pi and open cv distance and inside that as you can see we have here img.py open cv distance.py and track.py okay so i'm going to explain all these things you step by step okay so first script is img.py the next one is open cv distance.py which is our main script then last one track.py okay so friends for object tracking we are going to use here color object tracking method i have already created the video how to use the color tracking method for detecting the object okay so as you can see i have mentioned track.py it will help you to track your color okay so i have mentioned here my color lower range and upper range already as you can see i have already mentioned it okay so we don't want here a track.py right now so i'm going to close the file okay that's it so we need here opencv distance.py and img.py so as you can see i have already mentioned the import cv2 and import numpy as an np this is what our basic module as we always import okay then cap is equal to cv2 dot video capture then as a to loop i have already mentioned the lower range of the color and upper range of the color okay so then for measuring the distance we need here our object physical distance and object physical width okay so now what i am going to do i am going to start my mobile camera and i am going to show you how you can uh, measure the physical distance between your object and the camera then how to measure the object physical width okay so friends as you can see this is what our object okay which we are going to use for measuring the distance between the object and our camera okay so we need here our object physical width okay so for that of course we need here a scale this is what our scale and if i put our object on the scale like this way okay so if you see here the object width is we can say it's a 3 cm okay like this way if i make like this way i hope you all see clear so the object width is 3 cm so we need to mention the object by default width is 3 cm okay so friends as you can see this is what my usb web camera and uh, we need here a scale okay okay and we need to uh, put the scale like this way okay and we need to set our object so as you can see this is what our object we need to set our object at a particular centimeter okay so i am going to set at a 13 centimeter so here it is as you can see i have set the object at 30 centimeter on scale okay then we need to start our uh, img.python script which basically take the picture and the distance uh, from camera 
and the object is now 30 centimeter okay so friends as you can see i have mentioned the distance between our object and our camera is 30 centimeter and our object physical width is 3 centimeter okay so as i already mentioned you need to first mention your object distance between your camera and you need here your object physical width okay so my my object distance so i have mentioned the known distance is 30 centimeter and known width is 3 centimeter that's it i hope you all clear so now what we want to do we need here our object image as a reference image for that i have created here image.py and this file will basically capture the image and it will save inside the same folder our opencv hyphen distance folder and the file name will become rf.png okay so now what i am going to do as you can see if i open the folder open cv distance open cv distance right now there is no png image so we are going to capture the image okay as i mentioned in the video so now we are going to start our img.py and as you can see this is what our scale and this is what my object okay this is what our object the yellow color and i have set the object at 30 centimeter okay so it's perfect so now what we want to do we want to simply press the a button from our keyboard as you can see so i am going to press the a button and it will capture the image of our object okay so let's press a so now it's capture our image okay now if i again open our distance.py open cv distance folder and as you can see inside that we have now our rf.png image okay the png image as you can see this is what our object that's it now this is how you need to first capture the image and you need to mention the physical distance and the physical width of your object that's it so then we need here a focal length finder so i have created here a function the focal length finder this is what the function and inside that we need to pass our known distance the real width okay the real width and width in rf image okay so these three parameters we need to pass inside the focal length finder okay then we need to pass the variable which is the focal length is equal to with in reference image with in rf image okay this one and multiply by known distance okay then divided by real width okay as we mention here real width then it will return us the focal length okay it will return us the focal length so this is what the function for focal length finder then we uh, we need to mention our object detection method okay so i have already created the video how to use the uh, how to use the color tracking method for tracking the object so same steps i have mentioned here i have created here a object data and inside that we need to pass our img okay so this is the function and obg width is equal to zero because we need to first mention the width is zero okay then the same step okay for tracking tracking the object with the help of color okay same steps and it will return us the x y w h coordinates okay then we can draw the rectangle on our object then object width is basically our width as we mentioned here okay x y w h okay so object width is w then of course we we will get the object width so return object width so this is for tracking our object with the help of color that's it then simple the next step next step is what i have created here distance finder function so distance finder is basically the focal length known with object width in frame okay then distance is equal to we need to pass our known width okay as we mentioned here already known width is 3.0 centimeter okay so known width then the focal length and then object width in frame and then it will return us the distance okay 
then as we mention our image so this is what our image rf dot png image name okay then reference image object with is equal to object data so we need to call here call out here our object data function okay object data object data and inside that we need to pass our reference image as you can see i have passed here our reference image our reference image is our rf dot png image which we capture our object distance our object physical distance between our camera the default okay uh, the 30 centimeter di distance as we already mentioned over okay then the focal length found this is just a variable then focal length found the focal length finder okay the focal length finder focal length finder our function okay so focal length finder and inside that we need to pass our parameters inside that uh, focal length founder we need to pass the known distance the real width the width in rf image okay as we mentioned here the known distance the known width and ref image object width okay so as you can see here the ref image is here ref image object width variable so we need to simply pass this variable over here because this variable is now our object data reference image okay so then it will basically it will basically track the objects it will basically capture the object from the image itself also okay then it will show us the image it will show us the image let me show you if i start the code as you can see this is what the live frame and here it is as you can see this is the image which we capture from our image which we just capture the png image as you can see the ref image png image and also it capture the reflected image also because the scale is in still formats so that's why it's reflect the same image okay so main thing is what it track our object from the image okay so so for that i have mentioned here cv2 dot image in show method okay it will show the image and it will track the object itself from our image also okay so then while through loop okay while through loop and then we need to call object within frame this is just a variable and object within frame as you can see here reference image object width this is what the object width from our image and same thing the object width in from the live frame so the width in live frame same object data function and we need to pass our frame which we mentioned here also for image also as you can see reference image object width is equal to object data this is what our function this is what our function for tracking our object okay for image simply we need to pass out our reference image and same things for our live frame our camera so object width in frame is equal to we need to pass our object data function and inside that we need to pass our frame then if object width in frame is equal to not zero then we can use the distance distance finder function and inside that we need to pass the focal length found okay the focal length found here it is our focal length found variable we need to pass our focal length found then the known width known width means our default width of our object which we already mentioned 3.0 centimeter and the reference image object width which we have here it is as you can see we have mentioned here object width frame so we need to pass our variable over here object width in frame okay so then we will get the object distance between our camera and our object i hope you all clear so if i run the code we have our reference image it tracks the uh, object now this is what our live frame and this is what our object is tracked the object as you can see the distance between our camera is right now 21 centimeter if i make close it's now 6 15 centimeter it's now 31 centimeter again 21 19 70 60 17 okay so this is how friends you can easily measure the distance between object and the camera with the help of open cv okay 
I have mentioned full code inside the GitHub repository. You need to simply copy and paste all these things. It is really easy, friends. I hope you would learn something from this video. We will meet our next video. Till then, thanks for taking care and bye bye.